Hi everyone, my name is Parthi Chaudhary and today we are going to discuss question number one of the graded assignment sheet of week one. So the question number one says consider the following set A and some conditions have been given where X is the set of natural number and X more 3 is equal to 0 and 9 and the range has been given of the X. And similar manner uh, some conditions on set B has been given and as well as C. So let me make you understand what ex exactly x mod 3 means. Basically it is saying that you have to take such numbers as x that if you divide it with 3 you are going to get remainder as a 0. The statement says like this. And the second one is simple. It means that you are, whatever x you are going to take that x must be a line between your 19 and 25. Now when we are talking about taking all those x which upon dividing by 3 will be giving equal to 0. So naturally we can say that here x is the multiple of 3. And other condition which is given is about the range. So let us create these a, b and c set and after creating these set let us put down the other condition so to find out the cardinality of overall given expression. So we have uh, asked that your a will be the multiple of 3 and it will be lying between your 19 and 25. So if you uh, look and if you try to create this set, you will be finding that it has two elements that is 21 and 24. Because we wanted to find out the multiple of 3 and that must be lying between 19 and the other number. In the similar manner, we will be finding out set B. Now we will be taking such number as X which is the multiple of 6 and it is lying between this range. So let us write down the element of B. This will be 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54 and 60. Why we have written 60? If you observe the question carefully, it is saying that 60 has to be included because greater or equal to sign. Lesser or equal to sign has been given. Let's create set C. Uh, the condition for set C is that it must be the multiple of your um, 7 and the range must be lying between 29 and 40. So we will be finding that C has only one element which is 35. Let's find out some of the terms which have been given in this expression such as B union C, A union C and B union A. After that we will be finding A difference of B union C, B difference of A union C and C difference of B union A separately and then we will take the union of it and after taking the union we will be seeing that how many elements are there in this overall set. So let's do it. Uh, if you try to find out B union C first, let's uh, do it. B union C, this is going to be equal to 18, 24, 30, 35 because union will be there. 36, 42, 48, 54 and 60. Let's take out the union of uh, A union C. We will have 21. 24 and 35. In the same manner, B union of A, it will be 18, 21, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, 60. You can just try by yourself, it is quite easy. You will be able to find out the union of these all the two sets. Now let us before going to that let me explain you what is this symbol represents. It says that it is a notation of set difference and it can be also termed as relative complement of set B union C with respect to A. Uh, basically if you talk about or uh, normally if I say it means that you have to write out all the elements such that it is in A but not in B union C. Is it clear? It must be in A and you have to neglect all those terms which are present 
in B union C. So let's do it and let's find out what this set will be and how this set can be written. So I am interested in finding out all the elements in A but I will be neglecting all those terms which are present in B union C. Let's see if you see B union C this is the one set and this is the other set that is A. So let's see what is the common if you look carefully 24 is common. So this term will be cancelled out and whatever the other term is written just simply write it down which is present in your A. And you can find out only 21 is the element that we have got. Fine because other no only two elements were there. I had to remove those element which was present in B union C. I removed 24. So only one element is left that is 21 so I wrote it down. In the same manner let's find out B difference of A union C. We'll be finding out the element which is only present in B. So let's do it and if you see the common thing what it is coming is a 24. 24. Let's remove this 24 and whatever the rest of the element is coming up just simply write it down. So we have got that all these elements other elements are there. So let's write down these elements that is 18, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54 and 60. <coughs> Next let's find out C difference of B union A the same thing will be there so here we have 35 and we see that no other such elements are there so the C difference with B union A will be nothing but your 35 so I have written this 35 now let's take the union of all those three terms that we have written here if you write down the union of this whole this is going to be uh, let's write down in a simplest form 18 then 21, then 30, 35, 36, 42, 48, 54 and 60. Now for finding out the cardinal lead T, just count the number of elements that D is set having. So let's count it together 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So the cardinality of this whole set is equal to 9 and the answer is 9. I hope I have made this question very clear. If still any doubt persists or if you are getting different answers, please write down in the comment section. Or you can also mail me the mail ID which is given in the description box. And also follow me on Instagram. Thank you so much and we will be meeting in the next video.